Hey Lou and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today we review Queen's 1986 album, A Kind of Magic. It's really good, uh, kind of one of the essential 80s albums and got a lot of interesting stuff going on. This is the track listing and these are the tracks I added to my playlist. Eight out of nine, all of them but one. This album's really good. Basically all the songs here are strong and interesting and the album balances pop sounds with rock ones very well throughout. The songs do get a little bit samey towards the end. Uh, they're all kind of the same style of upbeat pop rock track from the mid 80s, which sound good, uh, but don't have a ton of substance. Fortunately, there's enough substance in the more interesting songs for the whole album. One Vision, A Kind of Magic, and Who Wants to Live Forever would make any album good just on their own, and it really just shows off Queen's talent that the rest of the album is still pretty good. Compar compared to those tracks, some of the stuff here does seem a bit phoned in, especially Don't Lose Your Head. But overall, I'm not complaining. And the phoned in songs are still pretty good, and any band would be happy to have them. The album flows really well. One Vision and A Kind of Magic start off side one quick, and it slows down until coming a back up a little bit with the final track, Friends Will Be Friends. Uh, Who Wants to Live Forever starts off side two really slow, and then the rest of the track sort of speed up from there. There were three tracks released as singles. One Vision, Princes of the Universe, and the title track, A Kind of Magic. Uh, two of those, One Vision, A Kind of Magic, and then Who Wants to Live Forever were all popular songs at the time, and they're definitely the best tracks on here. My favorite track here, though, definitely the title track. It's one of my favorite Queen songs, and it has the unique distinction of being the first track on my gigantic playlist, so good for them. Now, I rank this album ninth out of Queen's 15 albums, not because it's not good, but rather it just doesn't hold up well when compared to most of Queen's albums. The standard for the band is a really good album, and A Kind of Magic hits that standard but doesn't really exceed it, in my opinion. Most of the tracks on the album are just a little too safe sounding to be as interesting as some of the more out there tracks on their other albums. Compared to most of their other albums, this one lacks a variety in sound which lowers it on the rankings to sort of below half. Most of the albums that are around in the rankings are still pretty close, though. A Day in the Races, Queen 2, and A Night of the Opera are all kind of in the, the same range of good albums. But for most other bands, this would be one of their top albums, but for Queen, this is just a lower-ranked one because they have really great albums, so... Now, however, this album is my favorite from 1986, beating out Billy Joel's The Bridge, which has uh, sort of similar problems to A Kind of Magic. It's a little bit safe and generic, but isn't implemented as well. And Duran Duran's Notorious, which is just a lower level of quality. Still a decent album, but not the same level as A Kind of Magic. Next up is the Strokes 2005 album, First Impressions of Earth. I'm interested to see if their style changes over time or if they stick with the alt-rock stuff of their first two albums. So stay tuned for that, and as always, stay minty.